Navy is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Notre Dame staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. Uh, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Got an opening. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. And down he goes at the 49. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. Gets out to around the 35. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Gets out to around the 18. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. From the 18 yard line, first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a big guy. That brings a second. Another run. Tackled for a loss. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a nine-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. tackled around the 42 yard line sometimes when you've got speed that's all you need it's the one thing you just can't defend he's at midfield he's tackled at the 41 made at about the 43 yard line. Second and 13. Ball on the 43. He's at the 30. He's finally tackled at the 17.
and he makes it out to about the 17 yard line. Bring him down at the eight. Touchdown, midshipman. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And they push him out at about the 31. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Watch the safety three. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's level at the 42 yard line. That's a game of 11. First and five. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Big opening. And he's taken down at the 44 yard line. That's a team 14 yards on the ball. That makes it first and 10. Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Let's set a tone. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it 77. There's a strike complete. Tackle at the 38-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 24-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. Three down, three down. 31's the left. Motion. Motion, motion, motion. And they make the stop around the 14-yard line. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. 31's the left. Slings it. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Notre Dame. And so they punch it in on the ground. Kirk Herbstreit, great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Notre Dame, the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's to the 40. Across midfield. He's taken down around the 45-yard line.
And he stopped behind the line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Makes it out to about the 36. Well, if you like offense, you had to have loved that first quarter of play. Notre Dame leads it 14-7. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. What? 80. What? Might have been some early movement up front. False start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. The kick is up. It's got the distance, and it sails right on him. No good. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Notre Dame is up a score. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Knocked out of bounds. The 37-yard line. That makes it zero and eleven. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Down at the 48. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Down. Three and eight. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. They get him in the backfield for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 34 yard line, second down. He's under pressure. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. He's at the 20, to the 10, and a huge touchdown play. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. 
He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Makes it out to about the 33. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. That makes it second and two. He's into the open field. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gaining five on the play. That brings him second and five. Nice run there. Call it a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Come on, oh, come on, oh. Take four, take four. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes, around the 43-yard line. Number 17, he brings him down. That brings him second and five. That brings him second and five. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Deep pass to the end zone, and it's intercepted. And who else? It's the senior safety. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. And he can't get away from the pressure. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. He makes his way to about the 28. It was still a quality run. I like the fight the offense showed in earning those yards. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Tackle at the 37. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Five wide. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Switch, switch, switch. 
That makes it second and six. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's tackled in the open field. That makes it first and ten. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 27-yard line, first down. With a quick throw. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. And he's going to come up with a sack. You can't take sacks like that in a quarter. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. He's tackled at the 32. Notre Dame's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Notre Dame is up seven. Makes the catch and look out. They bring him down at the 46 yard line. That's a team that made him a play. That makes it second and two. Fires it out. He's pushed out of bounds at the 28 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28 yard line. The kick is up, and he splits the uprights. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 24-14, Fighting Irish. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these offenses have been extraordinary running the football in the first half. One of the marks of a great running back, the yards he gets after contact. One of the marks of a great offensive line, the yards the running back gets before contact. And there are plenty of both in the first half. Uh, when you're an offensive line, you're on offensive line because you're not talented enough to play defensive line. That's a fact. 
So what do they want to do? Well, they say they're smarter, though. They, they are smarter, believe me. But they, what do they want to do? They want to get their hands on you as fast as possible. They love run blocking. It's much better than dropping back backwards, kick-stepping, and try to catch a fast guy around the corner. They want to make their big mitts on you. They want to make it ugly. They want to grind the game out. And that's what they've been able to do. Everything they've done in the run game has worked so far. And the defense needs to get some stops. And they rush the passer, man. It's a lot more fun than playing the run the whole time. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kurt, ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's taken down at the 28. Tackle at the 43. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. You're not ready. You're not ready. And they'll bring him down behind the line. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's scrambling. There he goes. He's taken down at the 18. Again with the run. He might have a chance. Runs it right. Nice pickup. And they make the stop around the 10-yard line. They'll drop him for a loss. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Navy lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. 
I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Notre Dame up seven points. He's wrapped up for the sack. So the sack makes this a second and long. Gets out to around the 25. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up third and ten. Curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. 31's the mic. Nine to seven. Yellow 87. Sets up the screen. Tailback's got it. And he is drilled at the 41 yard line. Gain of 16 on the play. First down. Taking back three yards. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. To the right and tackled immediately. goes downtown and he holds in the deep pass touchdown big play he's thrown his third touchdown pass of the game he's been letting it fly today and his receivers are making plays that is a great touchdown converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Notre Dame's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought down at the 39-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. Three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 36 yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 36. to the wide out and he can't pull it in. And that will make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well. He really got a hold of that one. Oh, 
Oh, what a hit. Not a bad return. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Slings it. That's three down and one to go. Notre Dame's in front by 14. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. 31's the mic. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. Set. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. Fourth down, upcoming as they go three and out. And this one is a beauty. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Makes it to the 41. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gets to around the 42. run there as they work the outside. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. A little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still, Still second, second down. down. throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Just under three to go in regulation. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Under pressure. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make the play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here.
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll work the left side. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. Navy's going to take their first time out of the half. They give to the tailback. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire him up. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He fields a punt at the 20, and he's taken down at the 26. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Just under two to go in the game. They bring him down. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. From their own 20-yard line, third down. Under heavy pressure. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. Boy, the defense was all over the ball in the air and they come away with a dagger of an interception. Tackles him hard at the 20-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Here he goes. They go to the left for a nice game. Good pickup, and with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more time. Down, Fighting Irish. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. We have less than a minute to go. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Stops the clock with a spike. From their own 18-yard line, it's third down. And he's tackled at the 32. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He fields a punt at the 20, and he's tackled at the 27. So they're just about set to get the game going again. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. Mike, 
that. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 38-17, Notre Dame. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Well, it's obvious that the talent level of these two teams wasn't even close. Navy did a nice job of hanging in there against a far superior team, but in the end, they just didn't have enough to get it done. They played well, though. Nice job, guys. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.